But during this phase of life, it's so important that you share your values, your thoughts, your, um, your beliefs with your children because at this stage of the game, in this society, we have the TV impacting them, we have the computer, we have the cell phone, their peers, text messages, all kinds of electronic gadgets are vying for your children's attention. So we have to be able to stop and say, hey, look, let's, let's put our values into our children. And when you can communicate well with your child, the parenting will actually become easier. Now, many of you might say, well, easier, are you kidding? You know, I have such a hard time with my child. Well, I can understand that. Um, there's also a very, very good book. It's called The Explosive Child by Dr. Ross Green. And it explains how you can communicate better through a collaborative problem-solving method. And what does that mean? That just means kind of really working with your child. Many times I have children that simply have a learning uh, disability and it's very hard for them to process information. So the child will see all black and all white, but really doesn't get all the little particulars, the gray zone. So I really emphasize that it's important to find out more about your child. Get to know your child and really what are his strengths, what are his weaknesses. Try to build up his self-esteem, find something that he's good at, that he likes to do, and get him to do it. Whether it's drawing or painting or singing or a musical instrument, um, whatever it may be, there must be one gift that your child has and you should be able to develop that in him. Now, as far as the um, Hispanic family, um, I think it's safe to say that, you know, there's a lot of support within the family networks. I have many uh, families who live in buildings and the grandmother lives in the block or the grandfather lives in the same building and the aunt and the uncle. So I think it's so great that have this integrated network of people that support one another. And when you do, it literally takes a village to to raise a child, and, and I think that's essential for good family well-being. The family that, that um, plays together and prays together stays together. And I mention prayer because in the Hispanic culture, religion is very crucial. In many other cultures, this is the case also. So if you can find time during your week, maybe even schedule it on your calendar, Give those children a minute or two of your time or an hour independently, if you can, uh, with each of them to build those morals and those beliefs. You'll have a happier, more grounded child.